Okay, so this time uh, under our edit mesh menu, I would like to go over uh, the next tool set, which in this case is uh, just three tools. I might add these other two tools depending on how much time it takes me to cover all these three tools. So, the first one would be the poke face. So basically, uh, for this tool, you don't necessarily have to select the face, you can do it to the whole object if you want. Let's go ahead and select a face and go to edit mesh, book face. As you can see, it added divisions to our face, and that's basically what it does. But uh, the difference to this and say add divisions would be that it's always going to create a vertex in the middle and it's going to add the divisions from there, so it's going to split from there. And it's going to connect to all the vertices that you have around that face. And that's pretty much the most simple use of a poke face. So let's say I had I'm going to delete some faces here. Say I deleted that, select an edge, I go to edit mesh fill hole, and say I select this face go to edit mesh and use that poke face it's going to connect all the vertices all the way to the center it's going to create all these triangles here. basically connecting all the faces so there's really practical uses for poke face I like to use it specifically for that type of uh, application of course there's many more ways of using it than just that the next tool is the wedge face, All right? So let's say I wanted to let's say I wanted to extrude these faces right here, and at the same time, I would like it to extrude a few times to create like an arc here, and you know, kind of round here. So you can do that with the wedge face. So in order to do that, we have to select the faces that we want and at the same time select the edges that we want. So we're going to edge mode. If you're using Maya 2014, as you can see if I go to edge mode my faces are no longer selected but if I go back to face mode they are selected. Uh, if you're using an older version of Maya you can still just go back to edge mode and select the, the edges. But because I'm using Maya 2014 I'll have to open the modeling uh, tool set which is if you just click on this icon or if you click under uh, edit mesh modeling toolkit I'm going to click under this so it's going to open this and basically I want to use a multi component in this case so I can select faces and edges at the same time All right so I have those faces selected and I'm going to select the edges from the top oops make sure you hold down shift like the edge so I have edges and faces selected at the same time okay and I'm going to edit mesh watch face and as you can see it created exactly what I wanted an extrusion of faces that create an arc here so that's really nice and if I had selected the edges from the bottom instead of the ones from the top, it would be the other way around. It would be that way. Okay. So let's do that. Oops. So and I can even continue to select these. If I select this one, let's go to wedge face. So you can see it kind of rounds it this way this time and if you go to the channel box and open up uh, the options for it you can even add more divisions to it if you want it to be rounder or less round you can add divisions you can just type it or click on the word divisions and use your middle mouse to click and drag Click on the other one as well, the same thing. But in this case, it's not going to 
do any good because we added that extra uh, area right there. So if we wanted to add more divisions to this one, we will have to go back and try to undo. Okay. Now click on that and add more divisions to it. Just to make it rounder or less round. So that's basically what the wedge tool uh, the, something that you can achieve by using the wedge tool which is a really neat and useful tool now the next one is the duplicate face so first we have to select a few faces or a face so if I select say two faces or at least three faces and I go to edit mesh actually let me select the ones from here look more interesting and go to edit mesh and duplicate face alright so that's basically what it's going to do is at this point we have an extra object here uh, that's just those faces so if I don't move that they're just gonna stay there but I have two objects this object and the faces there's, there's not going to be a gap for the other object uh, it's just gonna be there but if I use my blue handle I can move those faces out uh, as much as I want or I can just leave it where it was and have those two objects overlapping if that's what I want if I move this one you can see that the faces are still there so this is really useful if you need some geometry that uh, say you already have an object that has the shape that you want now you can just select a few faces duplicate it there you go, you have another object that you can work with. Uh, that's basically what the uh, duplicate face does. Let's go ahead and go over the connect components ones. So connect component, uh, you can either select faces, edges, or vertices. Or back vertex. Uh, let's select faces first, I mean edges first. Like these three, and if I go to edit mesh, uh, connect components, it's going to create an edge between those faces. And once I select it, it's going to do the same thing if it was faces instead of edges. We connect component, all right, it selects the it creates an edge right there. And I can go to vertex. Say I want to select this vertex and this one right there. Go to edit mesh connect component. And I can connect that vertex to that vertex. So you can use the connect components to create new edge loops between existing faces or to connect a vertex to another vertex. So that's really useful. Let's go over the detach component. Uh, for detach component, you can select uh, the edges you want to detach. Let's see, I double click on this one. So I have that whole edge loop selected. And if I go to edit mesh and detach component, basically at this point, uh, the edges right here are not connected. So there's two vertices there. So if I move this one up, can see there is a gap. I double click on that. You see there is a gap between those two. And we can make it a separate object if we wanted to. If we want to edit mesh, separate. Now we have two objects. So detach component, select an edge, an area that you want to detach to create a gap or to make two separate objects. Uh, and use detach component. So that is basically it for now, alright?